Join us and fight the good fight. So Hayes is set in the kind of not too distant future, so about kind of 40 years on from now. And in that future, um, a lot of uh, military activity in the world is, is run by privatized armies. So it tells the story of a, uh, a company called Mantle, who make a lot of technology, um, you know, they make like household technology, to, uh, industrial technology, but they also have an army. Um, which is used to kind of um, be involved in peacekeeping around the world. Kind of like they've taken the role of the UN and NATO in the future. And you play the character of Shane Carpenter, who is a sergeant in Manfall Army. And this is really his first kind of taste of the hard end of combat. And he's fighting in a, in a, in a war in South America where a rebel force have taken control of the country and Mantle have been sent in to, to sort it out. The most immediately obvious thing about Hayes when you when you look at it is the visual quality. Um, we've completely upped our game in terms of the complexity of the scenes and stuff that we're, we're working with. And I think people used to pre periodicals previous games who will be interested to see that we've gone for a very photorealistic style in, in, in this game. Um, so a big part of Hayes is based around Mantle's use of kind of biomedical combat enhancing um, something called Nectar. And Nectar now in the game is something which is under complete control of the player. So you, you take the nectar, it gives you extra abilities, and the nectar also is an important part of the, the, the backstory of the game. So the whole intrigue about what Mantle is about and how it deals with the soldiers, this develops as you go through the game. We like the idea of weaving the story and the gameplay very closely together. It's not an afterthought. Um, so the story of Hayes takes place in a kind of continuous time frame narrative over three days. So Shane Carpenter goes into this war, he has initial impressions of it, you hit the ground running, you learn how to fight. But over those three days, things, things change considerably for him. And there's an arc of narrative which takes him to come to quite interesting places. And, and will confront the player with a very, a very different, more modern look at war than, than what's, what's, what's normal in, in, in video games, really. Hayes has full four-player co-op throughout the campaign story. And then for more traditional multiplayer stuff, we'll be offering Deathmatch. And also, we're very excited about a number of assault-based kind of mini-objective uh, multiplayer maps. With Hayes, what we really want to do is to not just be pushing the bar with gameplay and presentation. We want to make people think. And for Hayes, we, we we're trying to examine more the the feeling of the soldier in a war. You know, if you're fighting in a war, you need to you need to somehow justify your actions. So. In Hayes, we cause the player to actually question that to some extent. Uh, Hayes will be out uh, at the end of this year, so 2007.